Championship draw. Um, we actually came in late last night, and today he's doing some drag racing, and tomorrow we're doing the Danger Ranger. So this is actually a pretty cool facility, my first time up in this area, and it is gorgeous. Uh, so far, we're into the no time small tire class, and there's not that many people since it is a limited streetcar takeover class. It's uh, only one day instead of the typical two days, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the track here at Bristol, prep-wise, unless it's a giant event, isn't that great. So we've been struggling a little bit with our uh, test passes, but we've loaded up a nice tune-up in it that we think that it's going to do pretty good. And we're getting up right now for the chip draw, and they should start the uh, first couple rounds going on right now. Drawing for chips right now for lanes. Yeah, here is Bristol, Thunder Valley. So this is a pretty cool track. I like how the stands go up really high on it. And it's all surrounded by mountains, hence the name of Valley. It's actually a really, really neat track. But you guys can see it, it does look uh, a bit dull. Luckily, it is a little better than when we started. And hopefully we get down on this pass pretty good. That's a round one win for Brett, and uh, he did deploy parachute, so he's got to throw that in the car before he comes back around. But he should be back in maybe a minute or two, and um, yeah, we'll see how he feels. It looked like it did get a little loose up top, just because it's like we talked about, the track isn't really there, but it'll be coming up shortly. Uh, it did leave the line pretty decent. It's, um, it's just battling conditions at this point. Going up in tire pressure right now, got the trans cooler on, we've got the fans on there cooling the engine down top off some fuel repack and shoot what's up brett how you feel I'm good, man. first round's good yeah first round's the toughest round of any race uh-huh because then you just go home or at least now we made it around so that's we right technically won one so then you know hell yeah on to the next so while we wait for second round of eliminations to get called for no time or brett's in uh they actually added this little class so tomorrow you guys already know is the danger ranger 9000 here at bristol on the dirt. They offered all these uh, trucks to buy in and race drag the night before. So I think there's actually one already up there and a whole bunch of other ones staged up already. So let's go see if we can check out some of these freaking trucks that are dirt racing tomorrow and drag racing today. There's definitely some wicked rangers out here. All these tomorrow are gonna be absolutely caked on with clay. Whole bunch of mud. There we go. Oh, a little, a little burnout at the launch. One eternity later. See, left lane for the win with an 18-4. Listen, man, that is probably faster than the Ranger we brought out. So I got to say, we got to look out for that. got some some good stuff going on but tomorrow it's not about having more power we just don't want to spin out the ice or the track is literally gonna be like ice so expected to have a little bit of rain in the morning a little bit tonight and um, hopefully tomorrow we can stick it at least and not spin out really really exciting stuff but we're gonna get back to Brett he should be coming up soon going up for round two of eliminations uh, weather's getting a lot cooler, so it's actually pretty pleasant out. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be freezing. But one of the rules for the Danger Ranger is no windows whatsoever, for safety, obviously. And he's going to be surrounded by a whole bunch of uncoated... Sorry, buddy. By uncoated roll cage, so he's going to be freezing in there. But at least for tonight, it's nice weather. We don't have to worry about it being hot, and it's just starting to cool down. So it's actually really, really pleasant out. So they're going to do chip drawing again. There he is. Garrett, let me go get him. <laughs> Red chips lane choice. Shot up. He's going for the five, man. I didn't even go in there for him. Number three? Three. Very nice. Let's see. No time, guys. Ah, see. Three for Dale. If you want to get tail, I'm going to let you see if I go. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Where are my ones? Three. Which car is yours? Uh, Which car is yours? The Jones. The Fox Body? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey man, that's a perfect car for that track. <laughs> All right, so that actually worked out well. So we wanted lane choice of left because we've been doing left all night, literally all testing and first round of eliminations. And it's not a perfect lane, but we know that it's good with the tune-up that's in it. Um, so we drew the blue chip, which was not preference. So the other guy would get preference for his lane and he chose the right lane. So it works out perfect. It's this Fox body that's right next to us. Um, it looks like a pretty cool car. It's more set up for no prep than uh, we are, obviously, since this is more of a uh, regular prep surface track car. Yeah, he wanted right lane, so we wanted left lane. It's gonna work out perfect. There's another car coming up right before Brett. Brett's back there. Nice Supra. Alright, that's a nice line right there. So, we'll try to put Brett right there. Garrett's up right now, McFlurry. second round round win very nice very nice round three right now so far two wins we just have two more left we're into semifinals right now uh, so my competitor for the semifinals had a bye last round but he had an issue with his car he couldn't get it running um, and even on a bye you have to uh, break the beams is what it's called so you have to stage the car and then go. You don't have to go all the way down the track, you don't have to go fast, but you have to, the car under Break the beams at least. to like show that it could have lost a race or, or won right. a race. So right. the fact that he didn't get up to break the beams means he's disqualified. His car's probably still broken, it's like going to ran anyway, but uh, that's the technicality behind it. So that being said, Brett has a bye for semifinals, then you have McFlurry, Garrett right there, and then you have a so Supra. The winner of McFlurry and the Supra in the finals. Automatically into the finals. That sounds good. What do you think? Good. I need his rabbit's foot. Yo, for real. We got to borrow it. I know. <laughs> we're going to try the right lane. We haven't done that one at all this evening. And um, it is the bye run, so we're just going to see how it is. And that'll put us right into the finals. The Supra versus McFlurry, Garrett in the left lane. Red fire run right now just did really, really well, and that was our first time on the right lane, so it's probably the best it's been all night. Congratulations, guys. Nice. Right up for the finals right now. Let's go check the left lane. Let's which one we have. And, uh, yeah, this is us versus that white Supra.
I saw him, I'm like, fuck, I was that slow? And then I ran down and the car was really out of shape. It was soft. Yeah. You know, so I, I didn't even make it all the way. I mean, he was, he was already in the car. Right. Got slow. Yeah, my hand. I saw it. And I saw the, uh, the lights on the wall. Yeah, on the scoreboard. And I'm like, he went right! <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as you guys left, I'm like, okay, Brett went the nice lead. Yeah. Came out okay. And I look over and see the red ball. I'm like, okay. <laughs> He just picked up his award, we took some photos, getting ready to get tucked away in the trailer for the night. And that right over there is the track for tomorrow. We're just putting our way for the night, nice and secure. About to dry the harnesses off. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this sat out in the rain obviously last night and there's no windows, so we covered the, the dash wiring with a blanket, um, but the harnesses did, did get wet, so get it dried off and then we'll adjust it for Brett and um, get them all suited up. Make sure the steering wheel is nice and secure. Is that where he has to grip it from? Yeah. It's important that, he, that he's as safe right. as possible. Yeah, you need that bottom section safe. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't do enough with the top section. Well, he'll be turning left, so we need more yeah. protection on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that good, good. Sense. Yep. So racing hasn't officially started, but there's some dirt cars doing laps right there. We'll see him come out in a second. They're still moving the dirt. And they're testing, I guess. Getting some laps in, but this is going to be insane. When you think of the scale of a race like this, it's a whole lot of turns. I think the whole track is half a mile, and then it's 60 turns or 60 laps. In case you guys missed our awesome exhaust, it has its own custom flapper on it. So it's just about five o'clock. We're getting ready to do qualifying round one, which is not really rounds. We're just kind of driving around the track uh, to get a feel of it. But uh, all the Rangers are starting to get lined up here. And Brett is obviously inside all suited up. So we did some pool noodles this morning and he's putting on his actual safety race suit. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes for round one of qualifying or qualifying in general, whatever it's called. That's my boy, the Integra! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh! He lost something on that turn. Alright, here we go. First time qualifying. Red's going out right now. Alright, so just on qualifying, Brett is about two tenths behind Cletus. For his first time and anything like this, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, we just timed cool. it. <laughs> we just timed it and his spread was within like two tenths by himself. It was like a 26 second lap, so he's doing really, really good. we go We're going into the actual racing right now they just started their engines and uh, everybody's lined up they're pretty excited we've got a camera mounted inside of the car which is a 360 and then we have a rear facing camera right here we'll be able to see Garrett right there real good all right let's go Go! Stay on this side of pit wall. 
Man, that was that was close. He was a car, a couple cars just really in like front of it, just, two cars just in, front. in front of it. Man, thank God he's good. He's he's way over on the other side. So, man, that put a couple trucks out. Oh yeah. Luckily everybody's you know okay from what we see it there. Looks like, but yeah, it um, looks like everyone's getting out. Woo! That's a bad day right there. They're all stopped on the other side while they get all this cleaned up, and um, yeah, looks like everybody's safe. So that's the important part. Oh no, fire over here. Run, 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 run. That was one of the first cars to have impact. And then after that car, all the other ones had the pile up, so. go got the fire extinguishers out safety's doing a good job right there holy crap dude what a freaking start what a way to start like that was all within the first lap like literally they they did a couple laps doing like um just pacing pacing the car in front and when they finally had that pace car leave and on the first one they had the impact it was wild luckily the fire wasn't too bad they got it out of uh Flames down, guy got out perfectly, and uh, it's under control now. You guys can see that the smoke's all there, but they used the fire extinguisher. Holy crap, dude. You can see Brett's right there, creeping forward. Getting with the rest of the pack. Oh, they're pulling, that's the one that hit hard. Not the one that flipped crazy, but that one hit hard. Thank God they upped the, tr the requirements on the roll cage from the last one, because they literally added a bunch of points to an already existing cage. But if not, you know, it could have been much worse. You can see right there, the, he hit the Ranger right behind Brett. And then it all just happened. Oh my God. Insane. All right, so there's still a little bit of debris right there. We got a pace car pulling everybody up front. And it looks like there's a lot less trucks than there were before. But you know, it's not too bad. They'll give it a lap or two just to get everybody situated. And you see our boy Brett's right there, still doing well. Officially back to racing. There he is, there he is.
there, it's done. No way. That guy turned around and Garrett's motor, I think might have might have called the day. Ah, oh, looks like Cletus might be having some engine issues. Overheating at the very least might be a blown radiator or something. start so while they wait for the track to be cleaned up for other cars he got pushed off all right he's back in it started right up and he's gonna send it so that last lap looks like brent had a overheating problem and there's a photo that my wife sent me from the other side of the track i'll put right here and you can see that it's completely drenched all the water onto the ground but they pushed him off. We thought it was going to be done. He started right back up and went right back in. So uh, the pace car just started moving. The cars are coming up. The trucks are coming up. He's still in like fourth or fifth place. So as long as the engine doesn't seize up, I mean, we built it to, to try to do whatever with it. So we're going to have fun. just came in he's back over there somewhere he's going all the way back all right all right so I think we were in like third to fifth place uh, 15 laps to go uh, I really got I got in the zone there uh, after a few laps and I felt like um, I was just gonna keep moving up like I could see the wrecks happening and I was able to avoid them uh, but obviously the fan failed and we got put off the track because of the water coming out of the um, radiator um, Better truck, but maybe we would have won, but that's okay. We had a blast. We didn't flip over five times to catch up higher. So, <laughs> it was really a win. Cool. The truck's, it was yeah, a win. The truck's whatever, you know what I mean? He's easy to fix. So, yeah, I think we did great, and uh, we, we won as a team. So.